Hello everyone, my name is Dee Dee. Another episode of World of Warships, talking about the Samson Destroyer, American Tier 2. You unlock directly after the, the Erie Cruiser at Tier 1. Had a few games with this ship today, absolutely amazing fun. Really, uh, almost like a light tank if you want to compare it to World of Tanks. A lot about scouting. Um, spotting targets, keeping away from enemy fire whilst trying to get your best weapon which are the torpedoes onto target. Torpedo runs are, are really good fun, cause absolute havoc amongst the enemy and were so satisfying when they hit. Really enjoyed that type of gameplay but uh, yeah which I've done with today with the, the Samson. If we look through some of the the key elements of, of what it is then um, you'll see in terms of survivability it has slightly more hit points than the uh, Erie does, but only has 6 to 13 millimetres of armour, so basically no armour at all. You get close to any battleship or cruiser with this, you, you are definitely going to be in trouble. So, it has some weapons, it has these 102 millimetre guns, four of them. They aren't, they're okay, their range is pretty good at 8.6 kilometres. There's two forward facing guns, or slightly side, and then one at the back. Don't think I'd really want to be manning them in this kind of open deck formation. Um, I don't think it'd be very accurate in real life, but that's where, where they were. It's, um, they are quite useful, but critically, the, the torpedoes are what, you know, these are the best weapon that the destroyer has. It's got two set, well, four sets of tubes, two on each side. Uh, which means you can deliver potentially four torpedoes at any given time. A tactic I definitely employ is to spin around and deploy the other two whilst they're reloading and you're kind of constantly circling whilst trying to avoid fire. It does have a couple of uh, anti-aircraft guns, these Maxim guns remind me a bit of the First World War, definitely the start of the second. Um, I've not really come across many aircraft in so far at Tier 2 so limited use, I don't think they'd be particularly up to much anyway, but uh, maneuverability, got to close some of these options, 30 knots, that's pretty good, um, not the quickest I think, but it's certainly up there, the rudder shift time, three and a half seconds is great, you definitely can change direction and avoid enemy fire, it's, it's just quite easy to do that. Surface detection range is 5.9, that's pretty nice, however, the issue is, you can see that the torpedo range is 4.5, so you definitely need to be in detection range in order to get your torpedoes on target. Um, so you want to use a smoke screen, want to use some of those tactics to, to keep away. You can definitely use the uh, battery, the main battery, that's 8.6, so you should be able to let off shots outside of people's sight, but unfortunately as soon as you start firing the people start to notice you. Some of the upgrade options is you can upgrade the torpedoes, slightly increase the uh, the damage, if I just go up there, so it increases the damage slightly, increases the speed of the torpedoes making them harder to avoid which is pretty important um, and then in terms of the hull you get a 600 hit point upgrade, another AA mount and another tool, um, you do lose a torpedo, how that where you lose it from or which AA mount you lose I really don't know um, but I haven't really noticed those sort of things so it's worth getting an extra six hit points just in case and then finally the fire control position increasing the range by 10% that is useful if you're limited at 5.9 and, and about 7 then that's it's not great but in terms of the tech tree as you can see directly after the area as I've said wasn't difficult to unlock but uh, a really good ship to cut your teeth on destroyers and learn how to get to the tactics of how not to die and how to correct absolute havoc on the enemy. So that said, I'll cut into uh, the gameplay and we can see how we get on. So luckily um, I managed to get into a game where we've got full set of 12v12 humans versus humans no bots involved in this game. Uh, I think it's part of a mission to do some number of uh, torpedo hits. So 
so yeah, looking forward to this game. Sadly stuck in the B flag on this domination, so with a destroyer I like to get around the flanks and, and try and yeah, avoid the enemy, keep out of range on the flank and then cut in and, and uh, get some torpedoes on, but only trying to pick up one or two ships. However, in the middle you kind of, yeah, with the weight of your ships. So looking at the, the team list there, I was flashed up briefly. I'm a tier two, you've got some Kawachi battleships, need to avoid those guys. Some cruisers and uh, a couple of destroyers. So I'm, I'm quite well placed in this game, it's not too bad. The thing what I'm gonna do is push forward, try and take C, whip around this island, spot any uh, enemies that are coming forward, get that cap going and then maybe work around Oh, we've already spotted uh, that's a Japanese cruiser so we'll work around this island to the left keeping our distance away from this unit for spotted and avoiding running aground as well um, but as long as we stay away 5.6 kilometers away from these guys they're not going to see us we'll spot them and uh, yeah allow our team to put some fire onto them but most importantly, Cap C, get our team winning the game, slowing down to make that happen. I'm not worried at the moment about sitting dead in the water because no, spot me. The only trouble is if another destroyer turns up, that might give me problems, but not at the moment. Torpedoes in the water somewhere. Yeah, the destroyer's over there on the flank, so I'm going to cap this. That's, I think he's missed. Our friendship. We're nearly there, so I'm going to put the power. Not quite. There's more torpedoes than what's on there. Yeah, there we go. I've captured it. So right, so let's go. Okay, and then we've got some fire in. So six point. There's two battleships over there. With torpedoes, all oh, getting shot. With torpedoes, I like to try and uh, put them where the volume is. There is a 4.5, so he's quite a in some range. Where there seems to be. A heavy amount of enemy ships is where your torpedoes are going to work the best, so I always try to get some torpedoes where there's multiple targets. Like this. As you can see, I spun around so I can deploy my other torpedoes, put four into the water at once, and take them a total of eight torpedo tubes. There are some other ships where you know they sit centrally in the in the hull of the ship, so they can spin both ways, but. Not this Samson class. You see, I'm trying to keep my distance now because I'm absolutely petrified that I am going to get shot at by those guys. There are a couple of cruisers. Um, but critically, getting those torpedoes continuing in the water. So they are the two Japanese destroyers. I can put some shots in, they're not paying me any attention. Get a hit, 500 damage. Not really much to write home about, but. I want to chip away at this enemy ship because it's looking at its last legs and if we can sink a ship for our team, then that's, uh, that's pretty good. So, again, just that there's a destroyer there at 5.5 kilometers who spotted me, but no one's really paying me any attention, so I'm just going to sit back and take pot shots. Certainly one thing in the, the game that I've, I've learned is running around his engine's dead, so he should be finished pretty soon. There you go. One thing I've learned in this game is that you definitely don't want to shoot torpedoes where your friends are. Um, I've been team killed, I've not team killed anyone, but I've unfortunately uh, you know, shot my friends a couple of times and it's uh, not a good situation. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Right, oh look at those shots, that was great. So two things happened just then. Enemy One of my, just, my torpedoes that I fired off quite a while ago have eventually caught up with the destroyer over five kilometers away and then that destroyer made a suicide run on me. I picked up some really nice torpedoes and the taken enemy them team out. has taken the lead. So let's see if I can get let's see take the bearings on the ship and uh bottom warships will, will work out where you should be shooting the torpedoes based upon their current speed. Um, didn't look like a very good shot on that guy at that time so I ignored him and now I need to run away because he is after me. I think 
use a cruiser, so that would not be good to uh, get tangled up in any of this fire. Okay, but we've got someone sat dead in the water. Sat at Captain on point. I think that might be a bot, actually. There's one or two bots in this game. And it's a bit unusual for a human player to be sat there and doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> sat in the middle of the cap circle, but. So I'll torpedo him all day. And set him on fire as well. Excellent. In come all torpedoes. Hopefully we're going to hit. One hit, two, three. This is the thing I love about destroyers. You see, now I've, I've I've not really been in any firefight. I've not been in the action, but I've taken out three enemy ships. These torpedoes are a definite leveler. You know, you you, you fancy your battleships and um, your cruisers with the big guns to, to own the uh, the oceans, but a little destroyer with well placed torpedoes is going to have a massive impact on the destroyer. I assure you. And it's half of you know, running around nimbly, avoiding enemy fire is, uh, is a great amount of fun as well. So I'm going to go in and try and cap B. Uh, there's six enemy ships left, but I can see all but one of them are nowhere near B, so um, I can see if I can sneak in there. Or actually, oh uh, yeah, so there's a couple over there, but I'm going to sneak back where my cruiser's gone, because I want to give them some support, so I'm going to capture see and support my cruiser because there are there's a destroyer which can take him out pretty easily. He'll have a fair good go against these cruisers, but a destroyer will if it torpedoes get some close enough range to torpedo him, he'll be stuffed. So I'm gonna try try and single out this uh, try and single out this uh, destroyer. He's on pretty low health comparison to me. He's the Japanese tier two destroyer I think. Uh, put some rounds into him and take him out hopefully and that'll leave my crew, my battleship sorry, free to deal with the cruisers. Ignore the cat for a minute, got plenty of time, it's more about eliminating ships and this destroyer can definitely whip round the battlefield, do a surprise attack on my, on the, my battleship and uh, that'll be game over. I won't stand much chance against a cruiser. Launch torpedoes at me, not particularly well. I expect a second set. Yeah, avoid those happy times. Put some more shots into him. I think he should. Yeah, he should actually have another set of torpedoes, but he's not going to. Well, he hasn't fired them anyway, so I'm not sure why that is. Just notice that my front gun has been taken out. Great. Enemy destroyer sunk. Destroyer down. I just noticed my front gun's gone actually. Um, well, I guess that was the cruiser hit earlier. I'll taught this guy as well. My battleship, my colleague in his battleship has made light work of him, as you can see. So I'll put some friendly fire, not friendly fire, fire to support him, finishing him off. While he's doing that, I'll make my way around and either cap C or B. The critical thing about domination, as you can see, is that it's not so much about capturing the points, it's more about actually, well, capturing the points, but also destroying and destroying the enemy and not being destroyed yourself. Because you you lose points for being just, uh, ships being destroyed and gain points for destroying enemies. And they're much more detrimental or much more impacting in the score than just capturing points are. There's only three points that you get per few seconds, whereas destroying a ship will get you 60, so it's really important to stay alive and, and make sure ships are uh, getting knocked out by your team. That said, the Kawagi there has just rammed, I think. Yeah, nicely done. Just rammed the uh, Chester to finish that one off, but we do have all three domination points now capped by the enemy, so we need to get those done. There are two ships left, one battleship, one cruiser. There's the cruiser. I've got plenty of health left. I think there's another bot sat around doing nothing. That sea captured. I'm out of range of him. He won't be able to see me, so I am going to 
do some sneaky shots. He's not paying me any attention. I might have a snipe occasionally, but I want to capture B really. And I'm going to stay alive. He's obviously having a bit of a tangle with our cruiser over there, so he's not paying me any attention. So, time for torpedoes, really. Obviously, the torpedoes are f fast. As we saw earlier, I think they take like 50, 50 knots in comparison to my 30, so I'm going to aim these up nicely and go straight at him. I don't think he's moving, so there we are. That should finish him off quite nicely. Yeah, no one does that for me, but I'll stick some shots in as well. Actually, torpedoes in the water have meant that he's <laughs> he's moved. But uh, our team has taken the lead. Fine. Captured B. Puts us. Uh, level I think they've just destroyed one of our ships I'm now taking fire which is as you can see it's just taken off so much of my health so much of my health I really need to get behind this island and run away releasing those other torpedoes looks pretty plumb on him unless he spots them and moves them but we'll see what happens is he gonna catch yes excellent Enemy cruiser destroyed Hit and run tactics, fire the torpedoes in from as big a distance as you can, get behind an island, run away. I haven't used my smoke screen at all and I haven't felt the need to, I haven't really felt under a large amount of pressure um, this game. I usually do pop it quite early before but today's been uh, a bit of an exception, this game's been a bit of an exception. So one enemy left. Maybe I can get six kills, we shall see. He was over here, I'm gonna see if I can't spot him. There he is, he's got very low health. I'm gonna try the, uh, it's the Kawachi battleship, so this is pretty dangerous, but I'm gonna hit the smoke screen and see if I can sneak up with a torpedo run. On him. You can see the, the grey line there, that's when I want to be aiming my torpedoes. I'm very conscious that there's a cruiser over there, sorry, another battleship over there, that I may well hit if I mess this up, which I really don't want to do. So, I also can't fire them at the moment because it will just run straight into the land, so continue sneaking. I'm not firing, I really don't want to give my position away to him. A shot, a salvo from those guns are going to hit me. Wallop, his secondary ba battery have uh, just opened up and that has taken me out. But I feel comfortable oh, to uh, open up my back, my uh, fire more torpedoes now, sorry, because oh, there it is. There's the win. The other Kawashi took him out. It's on the edge of your seat kind of stuff with the destroyers because you could get absolutely taken out by any moment, but as you can see really good game five kills top of the experience list by quite some way actually if I do say so myself and there's three actually tier tier three battleships in that 33,300 strange number torpedo hits kill uh, torpedo damage 116,000 credits 2468 experience pretty happy about that so thanks so much for everyone for watching I hope you enjoyed the replay I hope you enjoyed a quick overview of the Samson destroyer and what it's capable of please like and subscribe if you want to see more hope to see you soon if not catch you on the battlefield